Continuing our reflections on the fruit of the Spirit, today I want to talk to you about goodness. And we might have some basic understanding of what it is to be good, right? We think, I just need to be a good person, and we kind of think in this abstract way. But the reality is, when St. Paul talks about goodness as a fruit of the Spirit, he's thinking a bit more specifically. And of course, as you can imagine, it always has to do with something that Christ reveals to us uh, in the Gospels, and a place where when we think of that word good, what does it mean to be good? One of the first places that we should think of is an account that, uh, a story that occurs in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, where a rich man comes to him and actually says, good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And before he answers that question, Jesus looks at the man and says, why do you call me good? One is good, only God. And then he does go on to answer the question, but he first makes this statement about goodness and making this connection that really goodness is about being like God. Why do you call me good? You're not wrong to call me good. Jesus doesn't correct him in any way. But he, he shows and reveals that real goodness is being godly. And we know that because we look back at creation and we are told that we are, are created in the image and likeness of God. And so our goodness would be how much we are actually fully being in the image and likeness of God. And what does that look like practically? Well, perhaps look at Jesus's answer to this man about inheriting eternal life. He tells the man, follow the commandments, and he gives, them specific, gives him specifics. He says, don't murder, don't commit adultery, don't steal, don't lie, honor your father and your mother, and love your neighbor as yourself. That's what it means to be good, at least in part. Because then Jesus goes a step further and he says, if you desire to be perfect, perfect. Now, if we remember earlier in the, the Gospel of Matthew in the Sermon on the Mount, Christ even says that we are to be perfect even as our Father in heaven is perfect. And even right there, we are told it's about being as we were created to be in the image and likeness of God. And if we want to be perfect, sell all that you have, give to the poor, and go and follow Christ. So what is goodness? To relinquish ourselves from connection to the material objects that are in our life. Sell what we have. To be good means to not have that uh, sinful connection to the material things that we want to hold on to them over and above everything else. And that's one of the big reasons why we need to pray and why we need to give alms, because we need to break ourselves from being connected to material objects in an unhealthy way. Because to be good is to break ourselves from that. What is goodness? To give to the poor. What is goodness but to be generous, to be gracious, to find the vulnerable and to find the lowly, and to be that good neighbor for them that we know that we are called to be. What is goodness? Ultimately, to follow Christ. Because Christ is the image of the invisible God. And if real goodness is about living up to that being created in the image and likeness of God, then we have got to follow Christ in order to truly be good. And you know, that's clear even from the moment of our creation. Because remember, after, after the six days of creation, the seventh day of rest, God looks back at all the things that he's created, including man, in his image and in his likeness. And he looks back at creation and he says, it is very good. So goodness is not really an abstract idea. There is a clear definition of what it is to be good from Christ. To be good is to be connected to God. To be good is to be in the image and likeness of God. And so when we think about goodness, we should think about our living up to our creation as beings, human beings, created in the image and likeness of God, created to image him in this world, and therefore 
to really and truly be good.